Hi, I'm Peter Barge from ePhotoZine.tv. Uh, this is a, an example of how to improve your dodging and burning using the adjustment layers. It's a simple tip that I use quite often. Uh, take this example of a model Angelina against a dark background. If we were to look at the image with a higher curve, image adjustments, curves, and we drag the curve upwards, you'll see that the actual dodging, and, or in, in this case burning, has been done very badly. Um, so we've got patches all around where it hasn't been burnt in. And uh, so, I mean, obviously that's where we want the curve to be in this example. But here's the technique, so we'll just move that out of the way. We create a new adjustment layer in curves. And what this does is it puts a layer on top of the existing layer. I'll just drag it down so about there. Okay, so there's the layer that we've created, the adjustment layer. So we click back to the layer below. All that the adjustment layer has done is, is actually applied the curves without actually affecting the original. You can turn that on and off. So what we're going to do now is use the uh, burn tool. Now I'm using the burn, this is the quickest way to do this process, but uh, you could also use uh, masks and do uh, sort of selective masking to get a much better effect. But this is just a, a quick tip just to show you how the thing works. So you see now I can see very clearly where the dark areas are, and I can go around and dodge around quite fast. We can select a larger brush here. That goes around there like that. Take off the top bit there. Around like so. Down there. And then to get these bits, we just need to go with a smaller brush. And all I'm doing is I'm using the burn tool. You can see I've got the shadow set, I've got 12%. And because the adjustment layer above it is on curves is, is very high this is actually making I mean it looks as I'm doing quite a lot but all it's doing I mean if, if I go over these areas all that's actually happening if we turn that off is I'm just making sure that the background's black now you can see in that area there it's actually lighter we couldn't see that earlier go back to that area turn that around Again, I'm actually applying this to the real layer, not the adjustment layer. You could, for safety's sake, make a duplicate layer and apply the effect onto the duplicate. But uh, we just, I just want to show you the effect. There we go. And around there. And that's a fully perfect black background. Oh, no, it isn't. Just a bit there. There we go turn that off and you can delete that layer if you want and save the result. And the job's done.